Today we're talking about balding, more specifically androgenic alopecia, also known as male pattern baldness or MPB for short. Unfortunately, 80% of males will deal with this in their lifetime. Of that 80%, 25% of us will notice it by the age of 21. By the age of 35, that number goes up drastically to 65. And by 80, well, 80% 80 of us will have noticed it at some point. 95% of all balding cases is due to this issue. Male pattern baldness or MPB usually happens in two stages. First, you'll lose the uh, hair around the temple area, which then makes a kind of a M shape hairline. After that, the hair then starts to recede in the center and work its way towards the back, making a U shape. And for many men, it can also start at the back of the crown, which then works its way forward until you're left with, well, not much at all up top. Now there are seven stages of two male pattern baldness, which can all be tracked on the Norwood scale. So what causes male pattern baldness to begin with? Well, that's gonna require a little bit of uh, science and I wanna preface the uh, coming information with I am not a doctor and I am definitely not a scientist and everything that I'm about to tell you, I've learned in about the last two days of research. If you would like to know my sources for this information, I have linked them down below. It all really starts out with a little bit from the birds and the bees. It all has to do with the wonderful little X chromosome that we get from our mother's side. As males, we get a Y from our father. Now that wonderful little X chromosome happens to have a gene on it called androgen receptor. The androgen receptor is responsible for controlling things like hormones, including your testosterone, before you are born as well as at puberty. The AR gene also turns on and off those hormones. Now once the testosterone reaches the hair on top of your head, it is turned into dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT. Now testosterone doesn't just turn itself into DHT, as there is a enzyme called 5-alpha reductor that actually does this process. Now the more 5-AR that there is, the more DHT your hair follicles get. And if your hair follicles have a sensitivity to DHT, the hair follicle itself can shrink and shorten the lifespan of each hair and each repetition of that it will only get thinner and shorter before it dies off until eventually that follicle no longer grows hair or at least cosmetically acceptable hair. Well, there we go. We can indeed blame our mothers because, hey, after all, we got that wonderful X chromosome from our mothers, which happened to have the genes on it that made us go bald. Unfortunately, it's not quite that easy. As Plus Genetics did research in 2017 that found 287 different genetic variations that can be associated to male pattern baldness. Now, although a lot of those genetic variations were found on the X chromosome, not all of them were, which means that we really can't just look at one side of our family or the other to see where our baldness comes from, because we really do have to look at them both as both sides affect our genetics. However, the study also says that the X chromosome variant is much lower in late onset compared to early onset pattern baldness. Now, even though that it is higher with the early onset, there is still a chance that you may have gotten those particular genes from your father's side. So you can kind of lean towards blaming your mother's side, but there's never going to be a hundred percent that that is true. Now, not only do we have to look at both sides of our family, but we also need to take into account that you may or may not get the uh, variant of the AR gene that 
overproduces or helps overproduce the uh, 5AR. So you may not even have a balding issue even if your fathers on both sides of your family are balding. Fun fact, all the hair like below your eyebrows and down actually needs the DHT, the testosterone, and the AR gene to grow properly. So the only hair that it doesn't help is, well, the stuff that stands out the most. So now that we know why you're balding, as well as that you need to blame both sides of your family tree for it, what can you really do about it? Well, as far as I see, you have four options. One, cry about it, hate your family, never talk to them again, and blow the whole thing out of proportion. But you're still balding, so that doesn't really take care of anything. Or you can go ahead and try a comb over. It won't work for you. I'm just telling you right now, don't try it. It's not gonna work. Your third option is to try to get on some medication like minoxidil or phenostyrite that you'll have to be on for, well, ever. Because if you stop taking it, you lose your hair. And of course, your fourth option would be to check out this playlist right up here and learn how to rock a bald head. Down below that, there's gonna be a video that you may enjoy as well. Oh, and of course, if you have any questions, comments, caught anything that I said wrong in the video, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.